now we're going to talk about putting together your auto calibration unit. All your auto calibration unit pieces should be included in its own baggie. It will include these plastic pieces, a brass fitting end, magnet, you have an end stop, your end stop wire, you have M3 by 20 bolts, three of them, M3 by 16, three of them, M2.5 by 12, two of them. So we're going to start off with this plastic piece and your brass fitting and you're going to need to thread it into the flat side of your plastic piece. Just press fit it, keep it centered. You want to screw it all the way down and make sure it screws in flat. Make sure you do not over tighten it. Just get it nice and firm and you're good. So you'll set that aside for later. Now for the base of the auto calibration unit. Holding this piece with the groove indention facing up, you want to screw your M3 by 16 millimeter bolts onto the top two holes. Now these are going to be threading into the plastic. So you're going to thread them all the way down to their flush on the other side. It should look like this. So now continuing with the flap, this part utilizing an M3 by 20 millimeter bolt, you're going to slide it in, you want to be sure you align the polarity, when you slide it in there the magnet should connect. Now this is screwing into the plastic so be sure to get your M3 by 20 millimeter all the way through cautiously screw it in make sure your alignment is straight now now we want to install the magnet into the hole first you need to check the polarity so on the back end of this bottom plate here whatever side stick is the side that you want facing towards this panel side so Next, you want to adjust the tension on your flap. You want it to be loose enough where you can flick it and it'll move. This here is still too tight, so you need to work it so it gets some flexibility in your, in your um, plastic. If that doesn't loosen it up, you might want to back off a little bit on your screw to loosen it up. Once you've worked it loose, it should flip to each magnet pretty easily. So now we're going to install the end stop. We're going to need to bend the middle post flat against the base of the sensor. So now we're going to use the 2.5 by 12 millimeter bolts to attach your sensor to the mount. So you want to align your end stop with the two holes on the top of your flap. Now go ahead and pre-thread your bolts. You want to thread it where it, till it's flush, lining up your holes. You want good contact between the two pieces. You don't want to over tighten these pieces. Now you just want to run your wires so they sit behind. Now you're going to take your hot end and you're going to install your hot end. You're going to slide your hot end all the way through. We're going to take the piece we assembled earlier with the brass fitting and we're going to line it up on the top with the two holes there on top there and the center hole over your 
open hole on your hot end. You're going to put these together with your M3 by 20 millimeter bolts. You want to make sure you pre-thread these onto your plastic parts. So once you have the top mount fastened down, just tight enough where you can't twist your hot end and move it around anymore. You want to check your alignment before you completely get it tightened down. You want to make sure you get your alignment for your brass end all the way down to your hot end. And to do that, take a piece of filament and you push it straight through. And if, if you can pass it all the way down to you feel it touching down on the hot end, I'm roughly going down that much. You want to make sure it's, it's at least this far down, roughly three inches. <laughs> 